Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to edit your YouTube thumbnails in Canva. Not only is this going to be helpful when it comes to design aspects, but most specifically, I want to show you how you can just edit a few things so you can crank out a ton of YouTube thumbnails. If you'd like to follow along, I will put a link down below. Canva does come with a free plan, so you can pretty much do exactly what I'm going to be showing you. So this is going to be a very quick repeat of my previous video, but I'm doing this just to show you a little bit more of the editing and then what you can do from there. Let's go to YouTube thumbnail and then click on YouTube thumbnail here or at least just type it in and then click on right here. And I've already picked one in my previous video. I'm just going to use a similar one. It was right around here somewhere with blue. We have our product review. Perfect. So once we are here, we can get to the editing aspect. So I'm going to show you the before and after. I've already done the after, which is right here, as you can see. Uh, not a whole lot changed, and that's a good thing, but I'll show you how I made those changes. So first and foremost, anytime you want to edit something, just quickly hover over it. And if you click on it, you're going to see that box there where it belongs. So if you wanted to move it like this, you know, you can move it back, of course. Let's go back over here. I believe it was down right there. And of course, if you're like, wait a minute, where was it? I forgot. I don't know where I need to put it. We can do the undo button so we can go like that. So it should look perfect just like that. Everything else is going to be what you want to edit is simply click on it. So for example, if we don't want this image here, we can replace it with ours. We can go to delete. And when it comes to uploads, this is how you're going to do it. So if you have a transparent picture of yourself is going to be the best, you can upload it right here. I already have myself. So what we can do is drag it in. So click your mouse, hold it and let it go right here. What you can do from there, make sure also before I continue, make sure that you have a really big picture first. If you start off with a picture and the biggest size starts off like this, if you want to expand it, it's going to look really blurry. So like this was a normally a massive picture. As you'll notice, when I expand it, it doesn't get blurry and you know the quality is still going to be there. So something along the lines of that. Let's say we didn't want this aspect like that. We can delete that very easily. When it comes to text, we just double click here. And we could do something like Canva, just like I did before. If we want to make it bigger, we can do this right here. Just keep tapping that up or you can just change it, you know, put in a specific number. I like going like this specifically because, you know, you can see as it gets bigger, if you want to utilize it that way, this is just going to be some extra text as well. So if we want to change that around, we could do edit YouTube thumbnails. Okay. Something like that. Of course, if we wanted to make that bigger as well, what we can do is do the same thing there. So I also had an arrow there that I utilized. So once again, if we're wanting to drag that in there, oops, not over me. There we go. So if we want to make this bigger or smaller, if we want to change it around, you're going to see this arrow right here. So if you hold that, you can go crazy with it like that. So if you wanted to just, you know, put a little bit more emphasis on that, you can do that. Everything is pretty much kind of drag and drop. And that's what I like. So if you click on this and hold it, you'll notice I can put it anywhere I want. Sometimes say I do a lot of landing page software tutorials and it's kind of annoying when you're locked into specific positions. So for example, like I could only move it from here to like here or, you know, here to here in this specific spot. And a lot of times, especially with thumbnails, you don't want that. What you can also do is as it's highlighted, you can use the arrow keys to really inch it up closer if you want, you know, up or down, that's gonna be up to you as well. Overall, these are gonna be the basics of editing thumbnails, you know, delete, pretty much click on it, what do you wanna do? If you wanna duplicate it, there's gonna be other aspects to it where you can send forward, send backward. A lot of times you're gonna to wanna to do this, for example, let me delete this. Like this picture, I wouldn't want to have it, you know, be behind anything because that wouldn't make sense. Then I wouldn't be able to see it. So if you ever need to do that, that's how you can send it forward, send it backward. That's going to be up to you. So very quickly, as you can see, that's how I edit things. Now, here's going to be the biggest thing I want you to get out of this. If you want to create a lot of YouTube thumbnails, for example, what happens is that after you save it, it's going to be in your dashboard where it'll say like your recent creations. And for example, if I'm doing a bunch of tutorial videos on Canva, which I'm going to do, what I pretty much the only thing I need to do here is just change around the text. Cool. Okay. So if I click right here and move it over there, I can do edit YouTube thumbnails. And just like that, I can save it and I can utilize that one. This is a strategy that pretty much allows you to create one single thumbnail, okay? Obviously, there's not gonna be as much creativeness to it. Like if you wanna do a specific thumbnail for every single video, like if you're going for a viral effect and you want them to really pop, then you're probably not gonna wanna use this. But if you're more about like, you know, cranking out content and creating thumbnails that are basic, simple, and really get the, the point home, what you can do is just simply go in and edit the headlines of this. So you wouldn't need to edit yourself. 
assuming you like the the colors, they match your brand and everything else is good. All you need to do is change this around every single time, save it. And then next time you log in, you know, if you're talking about Canva, you can keep that and then just edit underneath. So overall, that's going to be one of the quickest ways where you can really crank out a lot of thumbnails. Heck, once you understand and know what you're going to be creating for your videos, you can just go in there, you know, change around what the next tutorial is going to be, for example, like saving the thumbnail. And then you save the thumbnail and go to the next one. So for Canva, we're going to be doing creating videos, save that as a thumbnail, you know, put it in your folder and just continue on that way. So hope you got some value out of this. I know it's very basic, but a lot of the basics are going to get you very far when it comes to using a lot of tools, especially like Canva when it comes to social media marketing and just creating a lot of cool things for your social media efforts. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll also have a link down below in case you want to test out Canva. They've been around a long time. I've used them for a long time. This is a newer account, but I've used uh, some other ones for various uh, YouTube channels and it works very well. And that about does it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.